what is up guys it's Solbash. we are back again with some more war dragons and we got a little tip on some stuff today we're gonna go over like your base formation and of course we unlock runes because we hit level 15 so there's some things we're gonna go over and just remember guys this game is available on iOS and Android if you would like to play it there is a sponsored link in the description below you can click it and it will take you to the game to download it and it also helps us out here at the channel and what I did uh, this weekend is I actually got in touch with one of the guys or ladies that work with Pocket Gems and we talked about base design and kind of got some information on how we can help at our earlier levels how to set your base up to make it more beneficial for you. Uh, we got tips that from the higher level guys, you know, you want to put your sheet mills and stuff back here. Um, it really doesn't do any good to have them further out. I do have an archer back there as well because there's only four of those I currently have at this level. So on further out, we have my cannons. And I've still got four cannon towers. Um, I haven't changed them out yet. Archers, I believe, would do a bit more damage. But I have the cannons for now. And one storm tower in the middle right there. Now the storm tower is recommended for the middle right there because... It reaches out pretty far and it doesn't really do any good to have multiple ones on the same island. And as you can see further out, I've got the red mage tower centered right here. Actually, we're going to go ahead and start leveling this guy up. I'm trying to keep things going and leveling as we go. And over here we have another storm tower, which will reach out. It'll catch them and it'll also shield the stuff when somebody is helping defend. Now on the further south island, of course, that's where you want your ballistas at. The ballistas are what uh, do your damage for poison it does it over time so the further out the more damage they really do to the dragons and of course i got one of my high level archer towers so basically i'm just trying to level this stuff up i'm not trying to proceed out any further right now because it would just take away from the time that i would be able to you know level this stuff up now let's see we're going to let's go ahead and upgrade another one of these if we can and we can so we'll have those going and another things i wanted to talk about were runes now, uh, at level 15, you unlock this building, which it was just a pile of wood to begin with, but now it's completely built. You build your rune vault, and this is where it stores your runes at that you get. Now, ones that you already have equipped, say for instance, the towers, these are where the runes go. And once you hit level 15, you'll be able to equip them. When you go to equip, click on the runes tab. As you can see, there's five empty slots, uh, two round ones, and... Uh, two of the diamond shaped ones but when you equip one say for instance this one has a common cannon frenzy it increases my cannon tower attack speed by 0 0.08 percent and as you can tell watch when i equip it it's gonna tell you that equipping this room is permanent the only way to unequip it, the rune is to salvage it for dust now you have to remember that once you equip them it's permanent you cannot take it back off you have to convert it to dust which you can do so by going in here and it'll let you select on the one and you can salvage it and it'll turn it into a hundred dust as you can see there a hundred dust uh, the higher level runes uh, they give more dust uh, but these are the only ones I have currently I don't believe I have anything that I could really stick in this one out here see each one does have a boost thing you just click the boost it'll highlight the area once you hit level 15 and I don't really think I have any runes that are really designed for what I have out here. Now this is a uh, hog farm super sh shot heal for 7%. That comes from the hog farm, which I don't have on that island, so it's not going to benefit it being there. So there's no pointing in me actually putting it there. Now I remember in the last episode, we did a lot of dragons. I mean a lot. We did spent like 18,000 rubies on dragons. And I need to level some of these up now, specifically Kanara, which is one of my better dragons. So we're going to go in and we're going to attack some people. Now this is a fairly wide spread out base. As you can tell, he doesn't really have anything at really high levels. As you can see, all of the stuff he has, it's really inconsistent and it should be fairly easy to take this base out. And we're going to start it with, let's see, not Kanara. We got some of these other dragons that we need to use that we got. Uh, mainly a Boris. He was the elite that we got from the last one, the epic dragon. So we're going to start out with him. We'll invite teammates. 
and let's get into the battle all right this is the hold down to drag kind of destroys everything so i'm not expecting to get too too far from here get this mage tower out of the way it's keeping me from getting rage and this poison tower is definitely got me going and let's destroy some of this stuff see if we can't get any one ups any three minutes something none out of them so far and here's the next part i'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff down he's got a fairly decent amount of stuff but i mean the placement of it i mean it was not very good let's finish this island off all right can take this out and the poison took care of a boris for me so we need to switch over and we got enough rage so i'm gonna bring kanara out and kanara is the one that has the dragon summon on it she's a swipe so we're gonna go ahead and summon this dragon to help right here should be able to take a lot of this out i'm gonna go ahead and use the lightning chain and kanara is basically just destroying this base that's great because I actually needed to level Kanara up. But you can tell you still see the wood over there where the actual baby dragon fired at. That's where the rune thing is at. Like I said, it was just in ruins before level 15. That's when you can actually build it up. Alright, 100% success. And we get to level up a Boris. So that's actually pretty nice. He gets rejuvenate now, which is going to be really helpful because he is a strong, strong dragon. He's an epic and we're one fight away from... Kanara leveling up to seven. We got to get Kanara up to level eight before we can do any more dragon breeding. So we're going to run through and try to get some more fights done. All right, picking up on the next fight, we're going to look for, let's see, he's pretty widespread out. He's got two red mage towers. Uh, he actually kind of looks like he knows what he's doing, but he's got too many of the uh, storm towers there. Um, this guy's got a little bit more experience. Let's see what he has. Um, his setup is a little iffy as well, but he does have the storm tower set right, so these people are actually paying attention to what they need to do. Uh, but we're going to try this guy, and we'll start out with, let's see, Dominus was one of the new ones we got last time. Uh, that's one of the old ones I've had. Another one, Gog, we actually got that one. He's pretty good, and we got Lake Ring, which... Um, Let's see who we need to level up actually first. Gonna go with a little bit higher ones. He's level one and he's got the most hit points and damage. So let's take him in first and we'll attack with him. Gonna invite teammates. And here we go, gotta get this red mage tower out quick. So we're going to use Chain Lightning. The Red Mage Tower sucks because you can't generate Rage. That's what you use your skills with. And wow, he went down pretty quick. Well, he was level 1. So that was to be expected. So we're going to bring Gog out. And our last resort is Fenrir. So let's see how well we can hold up to this. Um, yeah, here we go. Now we do have Rejuvenation on this guy. Not, No, we don't. We have the Spell Shield on this one. Rejuvenation is on Oboris, which we can't use quite yet because he is... There we go, Defense Gunpowder. Try to destroy this stuff, that way we can get some things. And here we go with the shield. Go ahead and take this stuff down. It was not very hard at all. And by the time we get back to the next island, that's going to help out because we will be able to shield again. And he shouldn't really take much damage to begin with once we get over there. Destroy this stuff. One minute speed up. Okay, that's cool. We got two of them. Let me use the shield again. What's the shield? Oh, he's got invincible towers up. Okay. Gotta get this stuff down. Shield again. Okay, this is gonna be close. Alright. I know I can definitely take it out with Fenrir to finish that off. Didn't really expect to use that many dragons on that base. But he did have it well designed. So, we're gonna start off with, of course, another shield to keep from taking any damage. Of course, there's really not much left to damage me here. You got one tower there, and that's going to be it. We are going to be finished with his base. He had a pretty decent setup, though. It took me three dragons to get through him. Wasn't really expected. I 
And we didn't get a chance to level any of them up, it looks like, except for Fenrir. Now, Fenrir is still one of my stronger dragons, so I'm going to level him up. He's expert at level 7, and he's at level 5 currently. So that's not bad for that one run. We got to level him up. And it'll take a little while for things to regenerate. Um, if I can defend or help anybody attack from the clan, I can do that if it does pop up. But right now it looks like we're pretty much finished up with this. Uh, there's not really a whole lot else I can do. Unless I heal one of the dragons, you know, I could do that. And of course, don't forget to collect your gold eggs and check your egg tokens to see what you need to do with certain dragons to get more golden eggs. That way you can start breeding some more dragons. Now research, I don't have anything running in research, so let's check it real quick. Uh, that needs 10 out of 79, that's 5% lumber mill wood protection, 10% archer tower spell resistance. So we're going to go ahead and start that research and we're going to jump in and help a teammate defend. Uh, it went away, we didn't get a chance to jump in there, okay. Well, hopefully we will catch the defense and attacks in the next episode, and we'll show you guys exactly how those play out. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the base setups, runes, anything like that, uh, just let me know. And don't forget, we're going to be live on Twitch Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific uh, Standard Time. So don't forget that. And uh, we're going to be a guest on the War Dragons uh, live stream. Also, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget about the link in the description below if you would like to download this game. That is a sponsored link. It helps the channel out so much, guys. I want to thank you so much, guys. Again, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Solbash. You guys have a nice day.